Uh, first and foremost, um, I believe that um, what you need to ask yourself in trying to uh, you know, bring this um, into perspective is uh, what motivated the uh, attack in the first place. Uh, there are two immediate reasons, uh, two immediate um, you know, uh, things to think about. Number one is um, that it is um, you know, their way of asserting their uh, sovereignty as a nation, as a sovereign country of the world, Iran. Um, now, um, it is no secret that um, Iran and Israel have been uh, arch enemies for uh, quite uh, a long time. Now, uh, Israel uh, actually infringing upon the sovereignty of uh, Iran, I think is one of those, um, you know, uh, sins in diplomacy that, uh, you know, people have to think twice uh, to commit, uh, but also any country uh, accepting it, accepting such infringement on its, um, you know, sovereignty uh, actually comes across weak, not only internationally, but I believe more especially domestically. Now, um, focusing a bit on the domestic uh, impact of uh, the action that Iran took, uh, I believe that uh, that is, you know, the major driving force uh, behind, you know, their decision to uh, take on, you know, the drone uh, and missile uh, attack. But I think it's, um, it's a bit major. I think it's even more symbolical than it is real because don't forget that they actually issued out a warning uh, both to their allies and uh, you know to other uh, countries uh, in the region to say we are going to do this. So if they meant to infringe, uh, to inflict sorry serious damage on um, Israel, they probably would have um, you know uh, come. They would have taken them by surprise, but that wasn't what uh, happened. And so Israel was able to uh, you know counter those uh, those attacks. Now, focusing on their statement, uh, because this is actually, uh, my explanation is leading up uh, to the statement they issued. Um, essentially, what they are saying is, we did this because we had to do it, because uh, not doing it will make us weak, not doing it will make us lose domestic uh, support that is uh, within uh, Iran. Now that we've done it, we hope the matter ends there, and, you know, there will be no escalation. But if Israel considers a retaliation where the world should brace up for more to come, and this time around, no pre-warning is going to be issued. Mm. So that being said, does it appear to you that because looking at the way the salvo was fired, you know, as in retaliation to what Israel did to, um, you know, um, the Iranian, um, the Iranian ambassador, or uh, embassy, rather, in Syria, killing some of the commanders. Do you feel like, because if you look at the way the attack was orchestrated, uh, like 99% the set failed, about 1% you know, got into the territory due to the Iron Dome you know, shooting down some of these you know, uh, missiles and all of that. But because if you compare it to the exchanges of fire between those belligerent countries, uh, do you feel the intent is to show capability and not necessarily to escalate these tensions in the Middle East? Uh, so, sorry, do you mean uh, on the part of Iran? Or yeah, on the, the part, part of Iran. On the part of Iran. On the part of uh, Iran, yeah. Well, um, I think uh, it is within their context of national pride to carry out, uh, you know, these uh, drone attacks. Did they intend to uh, inflict, uh, you know, serious untold hardship or damage to uh, Israel? It is, uh, it is a bit doubtful. Today, everyone is, uh, you know, praising Israel for uh, having a very strong uh, military capability to, you know, wade off impending attacks and all of that. Imagine a situation where Iran didn't warn Israel, didn't pre-warn Israel and the uh, others of uh, this impending attack. I do not believe that the efficiency of a response would have been as it was. Don't forget as well that Israel didn't act alone in its defense of uh, its territory, of its people, 
Uh, the United States of America, a staunch ally, actually helped them as well. Even though America is denying that um, the uh, pre-warning didn't get to them, uh, there are signs that, yes, they were aware of it, you know. So, yes, uh, Iran did this as a way of asserting their authorities, number one. Number two, and yes, you are right about that, uh, they also needed to show that they have the wherewithal, they also have the capability to uh, actually fight back when attacked by, um, you know, uh, an enemy country. Now, I'm going to ask you two questions in one because you